War is Hell was famously uttered by William Sherman back in 1860. But as we know hell is home to many other strange creatures and entities. When this hell comes to earth does it attract the attention of evil beings whom then take advantage of the violence, madness and horror to carry out their evil deeds? In a recent article from MysteriousUniverse.org a series of reported sightings and interactions with supernatural and perhaps even demonic creatures during wartime was compiled. Let's take a look at these wartime encounters and ask if war is not only hell but opens the gateways to it. Let's begin in the 2000s and the Afghan war. Troops stationed at a base in Mosul reported an encounter with a creature they claimed was a demon. The report says that these troops jumped into action after receiving the call that their base was under imminent attack. They did as trained, grabbed their kit and weapons and reported to their stations ready to defend themselves and the base. They watched an attack unfold as men, enemy combatants began scaling the perimeter wall. The troops began to shoot. In the melee many of the attackers were hit but one of these was particularly strange. As the bullet tore into the attacker a plume of black smoke was seen to rise out of the body. At that time the troops thought it could be a suicide vest that was hit and damaged or failed to detonate but this is when things took a turn for the strange. The smoke began to form into a shape, this shape resembling a man and to add to the weirdness a pair of red glowing eyes appeared along with a mouth. The apparition smiled at the troops, turned and ran only to fade away to nothing after a few steps. Could this have been a ghost or a demon or how about a jinn, a creature commonly found in Middle Eastern mythology? The soldiers had no clue and were obviously shaken up by the encounter and did not talk about the incident for many years after. But jinn, ghosts or spectres are not the only thing to have appeared to troops battling in the Middle East. Vampires have also been reported. The bloodsuckers are said to live in the deepest regions of the deserts but in the chaos of war with its secret camps and displaced peoples they are said to venture in under the cover of darkness and abduct people from these camps. One soldier saying they are known to live in the area with many reports coming from locals who warn the troops to be on the lookout for these tall wiry looking men. They say they have stalked the region for hundreds of years. Could they be the vampiric survivors of the Ottoman Empire after the running with Vlad the Impaler? Or like hyenas are they attracted to the chaos of war finding an easy opportunity to feed? Maybe the US forces need to be issued stakes as part of their basic kit. Again reports from US military personnel claim another beast often connected to the vampire legend was spotted, this time stationed in Morbach, Germany. A sighting in the 1980s has Army Air Force personnel reporting a large wolf-like man prowling on their base. The soldiers were alerted to the creature's presence after an alarm was tripped. Upon investigation the troops came across a two-legged hair-covered entity standing around eight to nine feet tall with long arms and a canine head. After the soldiers and this manimal stared at one another for what seemed like an age the wolfman leapt clearing a fence said to be over ten feet in height. The security on the base needed to know what this thing was and if there was any threat to security so they brought in a tracking team to find the beast. The dogs were introduced to the tracks and the scent but were unable to track this as they instantly became overwhelmed with fear. What could this have been? Well there is a local legend of a farmer's wife cursing a Napoleonic soldier whom was said to become a beast at the appearance of a full moon. He would then stalk the area murdering, raping and pillaging all in the form of a bipedal wolf-like abomination. This beast became known as the legend of Morbach Monster. Another reported sighting dating back to the 60s and the conflict in Vietnam. 
Serving troops told the story of when out on patrol in the tropical jungles, one night they kept seeing fleeting glimpses of something stalking them. Fearing it to be an enemy ambush, that night as they hunkered down for the evening, a group of soldiers were sent out to investigate, capture or kill the suspected enemy whom were following the platoon. Tracking their suspected Vietnamese enemy, this group found themselves in front of a cave. This was, however, no ordinary cave. It was in a sheer cliff wall with what looked like a boulder rolled across the entrance blocking it. They continued to investigate, feeling they may have the enemy trapped as they drew close. They were overcome by the smell of death, so taking up defenses positions, something strange then began to occur. A rumbling sound began to emanate from what felt like below the ground. It was then a man-like beast made its way out of the cave. The figure rose up standing at a height of around 7 feet. This is when the men could clearly see this was no man. The torso resembled a man with a head, chest and arms but the body was more like that of a snake. Covered in scales and wearing long robes and a strange hat, the creature began hissing loudly and this is when more of the lizard or snake like men were spotted. In fear the men began to unload on these creatures. In a scene reminiscent of the movie Predator, the jungle erupted in gunfire with vegetation flying everywhere. When the men had emptied their weapons they went to see what they had hit and again just like in the movie they hit nothing. No blood, no bodies, we hit nothing. They guessed the creatures had returned to the cave so they rigged some charges and blew the entrance then making their way back to base camp. Once again these reported creatures may have a basis in truth or at least legend as the Naga are reptilian type cryptids commonly mentioned in local folklore and legend. Could this be the creature these servicemen stumbled upon? Is it that war attracts such beasts or could it be that in times of war we are pushed into areas people rarely explore? and stumble across creatures mostly hidden from human history. Could these sightings be hallucinations brought on by the stresses of combat? If we find these things in times of war, should we not make more of an effort to seek them out in times of peace? Let me know what you think. If you like what you've seen here today, please always remember to like and subscribe and visit our website for many more paranormal videos. Thank you all for watching.